is so important to me. As the, uh, as the country manager for Canada, I have the opportunity to visit with so many of you on a, on a very regular basis. And I love hearing your stories. It's, it's the absolute best part of my job. The stories that you share with me are inspiring. They make me want to be a better person. And so I love that. I love hearing from you about your experiences. And I want you to know that it's very important that you recognize how impactful your stories are. Now, Heidi Thompson, who we had the privilege of hearing from this morning, uh, shared something with us in Las Vegas at Sensi Family Reunion. How many of you were there? Okay, quite a few of you. So some of you will remember this. Uh, but she talked about, I have to read it. The scientific law of the sensitive dependence on initial conditions. Which you've all heard, everyone in here has heard of that, right? No, well you have by a different name. It's known as the butterfly effect. She talked about the butterfly effect and, and just to kind of recap what that is. We have a, a professor from MIT. His name is Edward Lorenz. In 1963, he came up with this theory. And he said that the flapping of one butterfly's wings in China would be able to could, would create a storm two weeks later in New England. One single butterfly's wings flapping, creating a storm a, a world away. And his colleagues at the time laughed at him, of course, because that seems kind of silly. But in 1990, that theory was actually proven to be true, which is incredible, right? So, uh, so many of us uh, today are familiar with the term butterfly effect. And Heidi had this to say about that. I'm going to read you a quote from her. She said, How many men and women breathe easier because you have shared the sense of opportunity with them, allowing them to pay off debt? buy groceries, or simply take their kids to the movies on a Friday night? How many customers have reconnected with emotional, important memories because you shared a new fragrance with them? How many friends have you made, encouraged and supported, whether via Facebook or in your communities because of Sensi? Your actions have value. Everything you do matters. Even the smallest flap of your butterfly wings can inspire great things. You are all part of the Sensi Butterfly Effect, whether you know it or not. You are changing the future for everyone who sees you dare to do something new or challenging or scary. You're contributing to the world around you. Even small acts ripple and spread into something extraordinary. You are the Sensi Butterfly Effect. So I have one more story to share with you. This is actually from uh, our one of another Sensi Canada consultant from Brockville, Ontario, Keitha Quigley, and I'm going to ask Carlene Yuki to read that for us. I was so into my new Sensi business. I printed out hundreds of pages and I studied the products night after night until I memorized everything. I asked questions all the time. I really needed this to work out. I love what Sensi stood for, and I love the people I was surrounded by. I just couldn't keep it in. I had to brag about it. Soon people started catching on. They wanted to join my team, and I was ecstatic to share my love and passion for this company with others. When I became pregnant with my son, I became very sick. I was terrified, not only for my life, but for the one growing inside of me. But I was even more scared about my job, that I would get fired, that people would talk about me, that I would get in trouble. What made me happy was sharing my love for Sensi. I needed to do whatever it took so I could do it full time. I booked four to five parties every month. I recruited, I advertised, I put my heart and soul into my business and I found out who I really am. Each and every person on my team had a different story to tell. Whether they were a single mom, had anxiety, a college student, or just struggling, their stories inspired me, and I longed to help them succeed. The day I finally had my son was the scariest moment, but also the neatest. That was the day I hit director. I had so much encouragement from everyone, even people I had never met, but I couldn't help but worry about how I'd keep running my sensey business and keep this baby alive. I needed to be strong and fight for what I wanted. 
Every time I got discouraged, my team encouraged and praised me. Now, I plan to stay home with my son full time and work my business. I found out who I am on this journey and I like who I've become. I want to give other people that same opportunity and I want to change their lives for the better. I know that you do. You may not think that your story matters. You may not think that your story is significant. Or you may think that no one will really care to listen to it. But I promise you, your story matters. And it's very meaningful and impactful to those who get to hear it. I know this because I hear these stories and I get to be inspired by them on a daily basis. I'm going to give you a couple of examples because I want you to see how important this is. Um, at our first event in Halifax, less than two weeks ago, we had a, a new consultant who came to Halifax alone. She was sitting on the couch and it was lunchtime. She didn't really have anywhere to go. And there were three consultants that were sitting around her talking to her. And two things that I love about that. One, just the simple process of, and maybe not so simple for some people, of coming, showing that courage and bravery to come to an event like this on your own. That's inspiring to me. But those three other consultants who sat next to her and made her feel welcome, I got to watch that and I got to see the impact that it had on her. And now she has an amazing story that she can tell about her first Sensi World Tour event experience. I also get to hear from those of you who maybe have to really, uh, as Sherry put it, become comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's a difficult process for some of us to learn. You know, how difficult is that first phone call or that first invite to someone to, to, to join and to become a consultant? I see some of you who get up on stage for the first time to present and how empowering and, and, and amazing that experience is for you. You know, presenting at a booth, at a show, that can be scary for so many people, yet you do it. You step outside and you get uncomfortable. You get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that's inspiring to me. So that's my challenge to you, is I really hope that you will be willing to share of yourself with others. Share your story. Share that light that you have, because it is significant. There's a lot of light that you have to share of yourself and that of this wonderful little company, Sensi, that we get to represent and be a part of. So, how many of you are willing to do that, to go out and share your story? Woo! About 25 of you, that's pretty good. <laughs> have we convinced anyone else yet? Those same 25 just got a little louder. <laughs> So, I want to do a quick recap then. What are our five keys? Number one, destination, know where you're going. Number two, who's in your car? It's the relationships, the connections. Number three, preparation. Number four, a positive attitude. Imagine. Number, number five, Share your story. As you share your story, you're going to build deeper, stronger relationships and find more joy. I promise you that. All right. So, it's been a good day, right? Now, I'm going to talk about something real quickly. How amazing were the breakouts today? Let me give a quick shout out to Ms. Maria. We have Marita Stan and Angie. Thank you so much. That went mm -hmm. it went into this behind the scenes and some not so behind the scenes. Marita, we really appreciate you yeah. helping to coordinate this event. We really couldn't do it without you.